All right, so I'd like to talk a little bit about chromatic aberration, how it happens, how you can fix it in post as well as live with pretty much any lens. Not every single lens, a lens like this, the big telephoto lens only opens up to about f5.6. And chromatic aberration tends to stop around f4 or so. So if you have something that can open wider than that, like this, this is my 15 to 30, it goes all the way to 2.8, then you can get some chromatic aberration in your pictures. Chromatic aberration or fringing around the edges happens because you have a really bright, intense light behind your subject. So here I am in Lightroom, and this is a picture that I took at Christmas of a centerpiece that I made. It has a little bit of chromatic aberration. You can't really tell until you zoom in, and you see a little bit of fringing around the bottle, around Santa. Now in order to get rid of this, all you really have to do is come over here to the colors, not the color correction, but just above it, the HSL colors. And for this one, the aqua is the best. And really all you need to do is take down the saturation. Now the luminance you could actually bring up to brighten that color, but it gives it a look of being squeezed in. So it's up to you. Let's revert those changes. Now here we are in Photoshop, and it will be pretty much the same process, just isolating those colors. Let's just duplicate that layer. So let's zoom in. And you want to create a hue saturation adjustment layer. Now we can go, it doesn't matter too much, go to greens. So now we can do the same thing. Bring down that saturation, see? And adjusting the luminance will do the same thing. Because if you make it too dark, then it's going to spread out too far. If you make it too bright, then it's going to squeeze in too much. And that looks pretty good. Take it away. You got that fringing there. Put it back. We don't. In order to prevent chromatic aberration live while you're shooting, I would suggest stopping down the aperture, changing up your angle, or just changing the lens altogether. Other factors that create chromatic aberration would be the elements inside your lens itself. Typically, the more elements, the more you're going to have those problems. More elements inside the lens gives light a less direct path. So there are a few things you can do to prevent chromatic aberration, but I really wouldn't worry about it. It's easily fixable. So just go out, have fun, and keep shooting. Thank you.